at five weeks, our identical twin embryos are beginning to take shape. Now curved into a C shape, their heads and tails can be distinguished, as can hearts, spinal columns, and the beginnings of tiny limb buds. At this stage, the embryo looks almost indistinguishable to any vertebrate in the animal kingdom. These fragile creatures, just one and a half millimeters long, are about to embark on a critical period of brain development. This five-week milestone could be another stage where identicals develop key differences before they're even born. Celso and Jesus are identical twins. They were raised together. As they grew up, they remained physically similar, but their tastes and interests began to diverge. Celso became interested in dance and academia, while Jesus preferred sports. The most surprising difference between the two brothers is that Celso, here wearing black, is gay. The differing sexual orientation of identical twins is an opportunity to investigate one of science's most controversial questions. Are people born gay? As Celso and Jesus were raised by the same parents in the same household, they inevitably share the same environment at a crucial time in their personal development. In the general population, the chance of someone being gay is less than 5%, unless you have a gay twin. Here, the chances are much higher. If you're fraternal, sharing half your genes, there's nearly a 25% chance that you will also be gay. If you're identical, sharing all your genes, there's roughly a 50% chance that you will also be gay. This suggests that there must be some genetic component to our sexuality. However, it can't be all down to genes, otherwise all identicals would be either both gay or both straight. Some other factor must be at play. In their first few weeks, all fetuses develop along similar lines. If nothing changed, we would all be born female. Fetuses with the male Y chromosome will form testes at about week six, that begin to produce the hormone testosterone. But at about the eighth week, testosterone is released and may affect early brain development. This hormone masculinizes the body. Testosterone also masculinizes the brain, including a part called the hypothalamus, part of the network which controls who we find sexually attractive. Some scientists believe that the more the hypothalamus is exposed to testosterone, the more it sets the stage for a sexual inclination towards women. Occasionally, a male fetus may not produce sufficient testosterone or its brain does not absorb enough to shape it along heterosexual lines. If this theory is right, then it may be that Celso, the gay brother, absorbed enough testosterone to masculinize his body, but not enough to fully differentiate his brain. As a result, he was left with a desire for men. Although there are still many mysteries, 
Twins like these are playing a crucial role in informing scientists about how and when we all develop our sexuality.